Hello again, it's Roger at Mud Fossil University, and I am going to be talking today about the walls in Peru that have these bumps on them. And you know, people say, well, What are all these bumps doing on them? Well, I have ideas, and maybe you have ideas. We'll talk about them together. But you can see how everything fits together so nicely and so forth. And these are what I think are the pliable walls that I have been talking about, and they have been mining. And I showed the the, you know, the tracks in the ground, how they cut them and so forth. I'll probably show that again as we go through this. But you see what you see. I, I, you know, I have an idea. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. You see what you see. Okay, and here's some more tendon, well, I'm calling them tendon walls. You can decide what you want. But I believe these are tendons. And these bumps are the actual straps that attach to the tendon anthesis balls. And I will show that in a minute, too. I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can, but I... I what I see here is the tendon and the the rind around the inner core and the inner core uh, I believe I see um, organic tissue there and that's one of these tendon straps okay I showed you the um, the walls with those little bumps now what I am saying is this is the tendon mat this material and these break right here they all have an abrupt transition between as it mineralizes or turns into a strap between these different types of materials and it also this is the ball right here and that is the, the stone balls they see all over the earth it is supposed to be inserted into this cavity here and that is the anchor well it's pulled out of that that's an injury it's not supposed to be pulled out of there now what we see in these tendon walls is they're broken here and then they just cut across here and they stack them and they have left a little bumps. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Uh, although I did see the mineral, uh, you know, the actual organic matter within these little tubes, I, I believe. Now, uh, the other thing is that the, the mat will erode away from the, the the strap and ball sometime and I will show you that and I have one that's exceptionally large that that has happened to I believe that's the case now the other thing is you notice that there's a whole bunch of these and there's are they're all over the place there is literally dozens and dozens of them on every attachment point in your body you're you're loaded with these things and that's why they're all over the earth and I'll show you <laughs> that they are all over the earth okay I keep talking 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 about tendon emphasis and tendon balls and tendon straps and all that business and here they are now this is in, in every one of these attachments you see you have tendons and tendons run from bones and 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 um, tissues and they hold on to connective tissues and they, they they invest into your body so that your body is held together that's what a tendon does now the the ligaments are in, right in between the two bones so your bones are held right together the, the the ligaments hold your muscles to your other bones and things like that now and then of course your bones attach to a lot of ligaments and tendons now these are the different types of mineralization that happens as the time progresses of growing and and so forth it's a little chemistry don't worry about that it means very little to us uh, unless you want to get deep into it which I did and it's very interesting and there is a tremendous amount of chemistry within these balls and a cavity that ends up becoming uh, geodes but that's a whole another story now these balls invest into little holes in the bones and into the skin and and they're grabbed and held just like I showed you by that mat and then the fibers pull and stretch between your muscles and all that but it's just very simple very very basics nothing fancy and there's a zillion of these things in you I mean literally there is thousands in every person in every creature and that's how and when you pull out one it's not too bad you pull out two three four five you're in trouble and even if you pull out one it's going to hurt like hell and i can tell you because i i know and i think the reason that they put compressions on those kind of things is because it more or less pushes the ball back in there a little bit and it also uh i'm going to tell you another thing that'll help is castor oil and castor oil is a fatty acid ester and it penetrates so fast 
into mud fossils. It's unbelievable. You put it on there and it goes right in. So that is telling me that it is going to penetrate into you too. And I have been using it on my shoulder, which I had surgery on a while back because of picking up these big darn rocks. And, uh, and it's absolutely a, very helpful to me. That's what I can tell you. It's to me. Anyway, that's 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 the story with tendon and antithesis points and so forth. I might be able to show you something here to make it a little more obvious. Hold on one second. Okay, it's obviously a human hand you're looking at there. And when I talk about the uh, apical tuft, I'm talking about this little bubble at the very, very tip. They call that the uh, distal phalanges, the tip of your finger is all it means. And uh, let's get in there a little closer. You can see it is loaded with tuberosities. If you see those little tiny dimples all over it, and that's what you're going to see right here. Let me back this up so you can see it. This is that apical tuft uh, from a mud fossil. And, the, whoops, and these are the tuberosities. You see it? See all these holes? Tender balls go in there, and then they come back. This is the same thing as that right there. You see, of course, it's uh, on your own finger. It's a little tiny thing. This is from a giant, and it's from a giant that was, uh, I believe, the same as this one here. This one is eroded. That's the, that's the fingertip. You see, see that black? They call that a bone silhouette, and it's leaked through. And of course, there's a vein and artery, and the artery blows out because it's unrestricted, and the veins do not blow out, and that is the anchor attachment point for some more tendons. And you see the pattern, that pattern? That pattern is this pattern right over here. You see the tip of the finger? That's this one right here, it's the same thing. It's that, I don't know if you can see that. And it's, it's, it's been years, this thing's been kicking around, it's been shipped out, it's been CAT scanned, it's been DNA tested. And this stuff has been here for years and years and years. So a lot of it's all nicked up and broken up, but it, it's, it's all what it is. So that, uh, that's what we found. I mean, it does, it, it preserves very, very well. It should be considered a little more uh, as, as possibly being real. You know, who knows, it could be real. Looks real to me. DNA test came back right. You know, CAT scans, anatomists said it was right, so I don't know what to say. But anyway, that's what it is. All right, I'm just going to run right up through these stone ball pictures. Now, I know it's not going to be real good, cause but here's what they are. Now, you see how they layer like that and, and uh, how they have a core in the center? They're all over the place. Now, uh, and they, those are more, and those are some more, and they're laying in a field like that. And you see how the outside core breaks away, and you have an inside, I mean, the outside layers break away. That is actually chert. You see this here? This is what they call chert, and it's flint, same sort of stuff. Now, you see the, the core in the center? This is what ends up being geodes, and they evacuate the, the contents of the center, which I believe is sand. Now, I could be wrong about everything I'm saying, but I, it should be looked at. And, and, and what I'm finding is these geodes, which is the center here, they will... Re, they will they will have some minerals or some salts or some metals that remain in there and then they if they're in a geothermal area or a, a heavy percolate area they will begin to mineralize and to begin to grow crystals in there very similar to um, rock candy that type of thing uh, I have one right here with them uh, I can't find it right now but anyway I have a geode around there everybody oh here it is um, and they're 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 round like this. And there's the there's the cap. You see this? Whoops! You can't see it now. Hold on. You see this cap right here? That's the crust. This the, the the cap. And then this stuff all breaks up. And anyway, that's what they are. And then you can see the black and the red and the. Uh, that's a geo. And if you break them open, uh, a lot of times there will be. Uh, there will be uh, crystals inside of them. Now, uh, let's just keep going up through there. So that's what that looks like. They, they're they big like that, and they, those are the stalks underneath. Uh, now look at this one here. This is interesting. Oops. 
because that you see the color and the the uh, the different um, the way it's built there in the center. I'm going to show you something that'll really blow your mind in a minute. Uh, and that's how they are. That's a house, and those are all those little balls around on a little. And there's one that they found. They don't they don't understand really what it is. I don't think yet. But uh, they think it might be a dragon's eye or who knows what they're thinking. But anyway, and this is what happens. Remember I told you about the church? This is what it does. It, it makes an extremely strong anchor point. Uh, and there's one that's eroded even a little more. And that's what happens in other, uh, in a condition. You see, I was talking about the sand, the uh, silicates that are in the center. There's a rind around here that is the, is, is the ball that holds it. And that's the chert. And in certain conditions, they... They, they mineralize differently, but there is a distinct layer, obviously, between the center and the outside, and here's what they look like when they, and these are all, these are all different uh, attachments of, of tissues, like that matte tissue, it is all eroded away, but the stems are there. Now this time the stem eroded away, but the ball stayed. This is skin, that is skin tissue. Uh, kaolin clays, a kaolin, they call it kaolin, uh, with a, such with a K, and uh, then you got these. Now, remember I told you before to look at, the, this is what they did. They cut straight across one of those things, and you popped the hole in the center. They almost had to do anything, and then they have the outside rind. That's what I'm telling you, it looks like to me. I could be wrong about that too, but I see what I see, you see what you see. You see that there? <laughs> there's millions, of, well, you know, millions, but well, I don't know, it could be. But there's thousands of them in you, and those are those balls. And they've all rolled down somehow, gotten all congested together, and that's what they look like. And, uh, and there's some more, whoops, what do we got here? See, there's all kinds of things. It's very, very interesting stuff. And I, I mean, I'm just enjoying looking at it. Now, that's how they cut the old stone. They cut things, and that's Stonehenge. That's a foot. It's, that's the, it's called the heel stone. It's Stonehenge. It's a foot. It really, I swear it's a foot. I'm telling you. And uh, yeah, all this stuff is, uh, you look at that. Now, that's a tendon ball, too, I believe. And I'm serious. If you look at it, remember I said the sand falls out of it? There's that sand. And if you look real careful, you're going to see them on the side of this, too. And if you don't, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I think that's a fingertip. It's a fingertip. And the reason I say that is, remember I showed you the apical tuft before? This is what happens at the very end. You see that ball? That's a tendon ball that's stuck right in the end of this apical tuft. And that's the kind of thing that erodes away. Just like this would have rode away if it fell, if it cracked open right at the very end of the fingertip, and then all these other ones just pulled out. But anyway, that's that's what it is. So that's about all I got to say about it. It should be looked at, and uh, it's it's a pretty compelling uh, case as far as I can see.